Hello everyone, this is David from Automotive Press. One of the most fascinating stories is the Toyota FJ Cruiser. It's an SUV that we all love because of the design, the styling, and what it stands for. But unfortunately, Toyota canceled the FJ Cruiser many years ago, although it is still producing small numbers for some parts of Asia. But one of the most interesting stories that took place last year is in December of 2021, when Akio Toyota, the president of Toyota Motor, actually showcased a whole bunch of EV or electric vehicles that will show up sometime in the future. And one of them looks like a miniature FJ Cruiser. They actually called it EV Cruiser. So there's a strong um, relationship between FJ Cruiser and EV Cruiser. So I'm convinced more than ever that Toyota will indeed introduce an electric version of the FJ Cruiser as an EV Cruiser sometime before 2025 or 2026. As you know, the old FJ Cruiser was based on the 4Runner, and so the new EV Cruiser will not be based on the new 4Runner because the two will not share a chassis anymore. I actually think the new EV Cruiser will be based on a, not body on the frame, but unitized body. So let's get into that detail. Let me tell you more about what the EV Cruiser might look like. Before we go too far with the new version of the FJ Cruiser that might be called something like EV Cruiser, let's take a quick look at the history of the FJ Cruiser. As you may or may not know, this beloved um, SUV was canceled uh, in 2014 model year, uh, after which we never saw that coming back to life again, at least in North America. But they continued to build it in Japan uh, until 2017 when they finally had what they called the final edition as you see here and that was it for Japan as well. But what you might not know is that FJ Cruiser continues to be built in the subsidiary of Toyota called the Hino Motors which is basically a truck manufacturer and they are still sold in places like Philippines, Chile, uh, South Africa and some parts of Middle East. So for example, if you go to Toyota Philippines website, here it is, the FJ Cruiser is still for sale. You can click on it and take a look and you'll see that it's exactly the same as what we've remembered back in 2014 with some updates in terms of technical features. You can still pick a variety of different colors, yellow, white, uh, black, uh, actually still you can order in uh, beige and uh, cement gray and uh, what they call smoky blue and even red. So in this website, you can still scroll through some of the different features of the FJ Cruiser. It still looks cool, funky, and very retro, and it would probably still sell very well here, as you can uh, see in the used car market where FJ Cruiser is selling for outrageous prices. Um, but for the most part, it hasn't changed, except there is some uh, cool features added last few years in the Asian market. And uh, you can actually even click here to download the brochure, but there's not much in the brochure, just a two-pager here with the full specifications. But the real story here, of course, is what's going to happen to the return of the FJ Cruiser, which of course is still speculation at this moment. But when I uh, recently uh, interviewed and talked to some of the people at Toyota and I asked them about the, um, the electric vehicle version of the FJ Cruiser that was shown last December uh, and I said, is that something that really would come back in the market? And Stephen Beatty, who is the executive at Toyota, said to me, well, I can't say for sure yes or no, but all I can say is that when Toyota shows off concept cars or concept vehicles, it's always somewhat directly or indirectly related to something to do with the production model. So even though he never answered my question straight, he was basically indicating that everything that we saw in this special media preview of electric vehicles by Akio Toda back in December of 2021 could potentially make it to marketplace at least in some form or shape. So he kind of smiled and said to me, so you can speculate from there, David. And so I took that as a pretty strong sign that uh, FJ Cruiser will be reborn as a fully electric car. And while we don't know exactly what the name will be, I still think the best name will be EV Cruiser. So now what I want to do is show you what my speculation is when it comes to this potential EV Cruiser. I worked uh, quite a bit of time on this uh, new rendering as you see here 
which is based on the electric vehicle compact cruiser EV that was shown last year. But I made a whole bunch of changes, so let me go through and tell you exactly what I changed, and I would love to hear your comments if you think uh, I'm very accurate or you think I'm off the mark. Let me know what you think of my new rendering and whether or not my reasoning behind this rendering uh, is something that could be uh, accurate. So first of all, this is the original Compact Cruiser EV concept car that was shown by Kyo Toyota in December of last year. But I really felt that to make this a production ready vehicle, a whole bunch of things have to change. And uh, for example, the uh, headlight area didn't look right to me. That looks too much like uh, a concept car. So that needs to be changed to be more realistic. And then the entire bumper section, especially this uh, skid plate here, didn't look right. You know, the tow hooks are there, but that's also kind of a fake. So the entire front bumper area needs to be revised to make it more production ready. Tires and wheels as well looks too much like a concept vehicle and even the tires looks kind of fake doesn't even look like a real tire I didn't think the Toyota logo uh, was the right size. It needs to be bigger But the rest of area like the roof the hood and the side profile as well as a C pillar and even the graphics Looks kind of uh, production ready. So I, I didn't change too much over there. Let's just clean up a little bit So here is my rendering which I just showed you a few minutes ago And let me show you what I changed to go from the concept car to this production ready vehicle in my imagination So I made some extensive changes to the headlight because that was really fakey looking uh, Using kind of like a Tacoma style headlight but inside it has the traditional and a signature round headlight which is a very important part of the um, FJ Cruiser heritage. I also made the Toyota emblem or lettering much larger uh, and then the entire front section was changed in terms of bumper area uh, because once again concept car didn't look right. So I placed a much larger um, skid plate and made it integrated into bumper, put a proper tow hooks which you'll be happy with added real fog lamps both left and right side of course and now the front end looks much better uh, and the wheels and tires were replaced with something that will be close to a real TRD Pro wheels and tires I made the wheels and tires a little bit bigger as well but in terms of the roof the hood and then the side profile and also the um, some of the sections in the C profile area or C pillar area I didn't make too many changes there except I made the graphics a uh, bit uh, different and modified it so that it looks more like FJ Cruiser that we know of and so this is my complete rendering and all of the changes I made would love to hear from you what you think of this uh, uh, new rendering I made and whether or not you think this is something that could actually happen in a few years now I think the name compact cruiser gives away but obviously the dimension of this potential EV cruiser would be smaller than the FJ cruiser that we had. So in terms of the size of this potential EV cruiser, I think it could be something similar to the Toyota BZ4X, perhaps a little bit larger than that. So in terms of components, in terms of motor, uh, perhaps it will share uh, many of the components with the Toyota BZ4X, although if this thing needs to tow and to go off-roading and so forth, it's going to need a little bit more power. So maybe it's something that's closer to the Lexus RZ because that one has more power with a bigger motor and uh, maybe even the range will be increased because right now the BZ4X and the Lexus RZ the range is not all that great so those are some of my potential speculation uh, perhaps we will find out in a year or two but for now I wanted to share with you this uh, speculation and prediction and also the rendering that I've created because as you know this is one of the things I really enjoy doing and so far my uh, predictions and my speculation slash renderings have been very accurate in the last uh, 12 months or so. In terms of timing I think it's probably a few years away so perhaps it'll be a 2025 or even 2026 model year before we can see a production version if that does become a real story. Uh, but um, for now I'm going to just ask you to uh, make some comments and maybe give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you can. That'll be truly truly appreciated and I also want to just show you a short clip uh, where I did interview Stephen Beatty at Toyota Canada who talked a little bit about this idea of concept becoming a real production car so here it is and then until next time uh, I'll sign off after this video thank you so much
Well, look, uh, you've been around a lot of auto shows <laughs> and you've seen Toyota concepts in the past and you know that Toyota doesn't have dreamy concepts. We, uh, you know, when we bring something out and show it to the public, it's because we're close to decisions about whether or not to proceed with the vehicle. And really it's an opportunity to get that feedback from the marketplace to say, do you like what you see? If you do, that's a, that's a good indication to us that we should, we should turn it from an idea into a, into a product. Mm -hmm.